What's up guys? Howard with the Boogie Report here. Do you have a gaming rig at home that's just sitting around when you're not using it that you would like to get making you passive profit? Well, that's exactly what you can do with crypto mining at home. It's fast to set up, it's really easy to get going, and you can have your GPU make you passive profit in the background while you're not doing anything. There's a lot of ways to go about crypto mining. In fact, some of them require you building specialized mining rigs, buying lots of GPUs, or even buying ASIC miners. Today, we're not gonna talk about any of that. We're going to focus on how you, in the quickest way possible, can get your home gaming rig up and running, mining cryptocurrency, and making profit. At the end of the day, we're not talking about getting rich here. We're talking about using your GPU and your gaming rig to make you some money when you're not doing anything. It's also a good way to get exposed and involved in cryptocurrency mining so you can start to learn more about what's going on here. If there's interest, we can cover a lot more of the complex stuff going on, including building miners, building out farms, and all the other fun stuff that goes into mining cryptocurrency. So let's get started. Okay, so the platform that we're gonna use is called NiceHash. We chose this because it's easy. There's other platforms, there's individual miners. If you're specifically mining a specific coin or spec mining, you're gonna to wanna to use individual miners. We can talk about all that in other videos, but for the ease of getting started, we're gonna use NiceHash. It's really simple for anyone to just jump in, use their gaming rig, download a piece of software, build an account, and boom, you're making profit mining. So the first thing that you might wanna do is check your profits. This is unnecessary. You can skip this step if you wanna just go ahead and get started, but I think it's pretty cool. You can come in here, auto detect your hardware, you click this button right here, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna download a little program that's gonna go in and it's gonna see what your GPU and CPU are. From there, it's gonna give you just kind of a guesstimate of what your profitability is gonna be. I'm not gonna download that on this video. It's easy to do if you want to. What we're gonna do is go through the actual getting started process. So if you don't have an account already, come over here, create an account. It's pretty easy and it's pretty self-explanatory. So as you can see, I've been mining for a couple of days. Nothing crazy, um, but you can go in here and kind of see all the different things you need to know about it when you're mining. For right now, we're just going to focus on getting up and running, downloading a miner, and actually getting mining. So come over here to the mining tab. You're going to click over here where it says download miner or add ASIC. Now, I recommend going with NiceHash Quick Miner if you have an NVIDIA card. If you don't have an NVIDIA card, you're going to have to use NiceHash Miner. Um, NiceHash Quick Miner is their own software. NiceHash Miner is going to aggregate different uh, miners together. Quick Miner is just a little bit faster and easier. Again, there's not a huge functional difference in terms of profitability or anything like that. You're going to go through this whole page. Really simple. Uh, your computer may give you a warning that this is a virus if you're working on Windows. It isn't always. In fact, when I ran through the testing to get this set up, it didn't give me any problems. But if it does, you're going to have to make an exclusion in Windows Defender. You can click this here and it actually walks you through how to do it. Really, really simple, but I didn't have any issues with it. Come down here, click this, download the installer, boom, you're good to go. So one thing it's going to ask you for when you're getting started is your mining address. Now where you find this is if you go to the mining tab, you come over to here where it says mining address, you click it and you just copy. This will copy it straight to your clipboard and you can load it into the miner when you're setting it up. Okay, so once you get it downloaded, there's some settings that you can configure. Most of this stuff, the way it's set up automatically is good to go. Language, English, give your rig a name. Not a big deal if you're just doing an at-home gaming rig as a miner. Um, this becomes more important when you start using different rigs and we can kind of talk about that, but for now, don't need to worry about that. Um, auto start. I don't have this on my home computer as an auto start just because I do video editing on this computer and other things. Um, but if you're just gaming and doing that, you may want a quick auto start. Error handling, restart excavator is pretty good as a standard. Um, you can read through this if you want to. It's not necessary, not necessary. OC tune, I wouldn't mess with. We're gonna go through a different thing um, in on the website that's that's easy to use just because it's pretty well configured. Then you just click OK. Okay, so we just started at mining. You know, I'm recording video on this and doing a screen grab, so the uh, the hash rate on this is gonna be a lot lower. Um, this computer is just using a single 3080 to mine. Um, you know, it should be in the 90s. Right now we're gonna get like sub 80 speeds. But literally this is it. Right now I'm mining Ethereum um, and uh, making money, you know, passively. If I wasn't working on this computer, I'd walk away and just leave this running all day. And, and, you know, I think right now it's making about 
five, six bucks a day completely passively. Um, so again, like I said, with a single GPU and a gaming rig, you're not getting rich, but uh, it's gonna be really, really easy to just set this thing up and get it going with passive income. You can see here's your, your mining area. You can actually look at your rigs. Um, in this situation, we just have the one running. You know, I mentioned the overclocking briefly earlier. So if you come over to here where you see this button that says medium, you can actually set up different um, different mining speeds. Excuse me, you gotta click the drop down. So open this up, oh, click on my your rig name, then it'll drop down to here. And you can actually choose what, what overclock setting you want. Um, they all work. If I'm not gonna be around the house to check on it, I just kind of leave it on medium because it never crashes, it's super stable. It's not as overclocked as it could be otherwise, um, but it works out fine, you know, so there's no issues with that. And it'll automatically apply the overclock settings to your miner and your, your GPU, excuse me. So you can also see some other useful information here. You can see, you know, what's how much you have in your wallet. This wallet right here has, you know, about $100 worth of Bitcoin. Um, your actual profitability over 24 hours. This isn't accurate because I've, have, I've had it off. I just turned it on. So this will go up to about, you know, five or $6 a day profitability. Um, your unpaid mining balance. So if you don't, you know, it'll, it'll pay out over set intervals. So right now, since I just turned it back on, it's made about 30 cents. One thing to remember is that this is gonna be super dependent on your hardware. So if you're running a 3090, you're gonna get more money coming in every single day than if you're running a 3080 and vice versa. If you're running a 20 series card or even a 10 series card, obviously your profitability is gonna be lower as a result. But again, this is still a way to passively get that GPU working for you. If you do have some of that older hardware, then you may wanna go the route of spec mining. Spec mining is speculative mining, right? So going after coins that are not as entrenched, that don't have as large market caps as Ethereum, oftentimes coins that just came out. And this is a good way to kind of get started and find profitable coins before they even released. You know, when Ravencoin was first released in, I don't know, um, 2016, 2017, 2018, I can't remember. Uh, all the people that discovered it through Discord and through Reddit when it, was, it first started being mineable, made a ton of money. I mean, there were people with 1070s were making like over $10 a day, right? Um, it might've even been higher than that. And so there's opportunity when new coins are released, if they have some legs on them, if it's a good project to get in early, even if you don't have super powerful hardware. So that's all there is to it, guys. You're up and running with NiceHash. Now, like I said, this isn't necessarily the best possible miner you could set up. There's a lot of different options, um, and we can go over those in different videos and talk about mining different coins. You know, the way NiceHash works is that it's going to mine the most profitable coin that it determines through its algorithm, and then it's going to pay you out in Bitcoin. So while I'm technically mining Ether right now, I'm getting paid in Bitcoin right into my NiceHash Bitcoin wallet. Um, it's just as easy, well maybe not just as easy, but you can easily set up dedicated Ethereum miners on your desktop that mine directly to a wallet that you control, which is technically a safer option. Um, anytime I'm mining with an actual cryptocurrency mining rig, anytime I'm mining with actual farms, I'm never gonna be mining into a nice hash wallet, right? I'm never gonna be using a setup like this. I'm gonna be doing something that's more secure where I have complete control over my cryptocurrency, where it's not tied to a nice hash account. Um, but for these purposes, right, for just setting up a gaming rig to make some passive income in the background, nothing wrong with doing it this way. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope this was helpful, getting you making a couple extra bucks a day. Like I said, it's a really good introduction into how mining works. And hopefully, like myself, it'll give you guys the bug to dive deeper and learn more. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. Like I said, we can go over a lot more complex stuff that's potentially more profitable, but I just wanted to get this out quickly because so many people have been asking me, how do I get started mining at home uh, without sinking a bunch of money into it? So anyways, see you guys soon and be well.